SSZ, WWQ, DDC, DDC. Usually you would approach this in your mind like this in Black Magic, but it's actually more like this because. Well, to explain, we start at the beginning. If you give a Black Magic player a string of inputs like these, they break it into steps to make it easier to do. AS DASDQ becomes ASD ASDQ. But it's not that simple, as in most fighting games, there's strict timings and you will have to delay some moves or do some other wacky thing for something to work. So you have to delay that part, and then you have to do the rest of the parts fast. But for Black Magic, the problems are a little different. For example, in an old version of Samurai, you had to do a 180 camera flick to do a certain tech somewhere during all of this. And to put that in perspective, it's like if you had to do a combo in Smash Bros, but instead you had to flip your controller upside down mid-combo for it to work. Obviously, nobody is supposed to figure that out. And Black Magic has a couple of these weird puzzles, like the puzzle at the beginning of this video. Normally, you only cast once, as God intended, but we want to cast twice. And to do something illegal in black magic means usually breaking your fingers. So if you want a double cast, you have to hit DDC with WWQ or else the second cast won't come out. Sound simple? Well, you have to DDC before the very last after image spawns from WWQ. So it moves with you like so. And this window is tiny because the last after image is there in about 0.34 of a second. If you time your blink right, you can miss it. So I approached this problem how I did all the way back in 2017 when I was still a kid. Using one finger to DDC, I was barely able to double cast sometimes and my hand hurt. Kids in their infinite free time are a different breed I guess. So I used both hands to keystroke to figure out where I was going wrong. And I found out it was a skill issue, but also that you had to delay the second cast or else you will freeze. So I changed my method and moved my whole hand to keystroke DDC after WWQ. And this worked a lot better and hurt less. And after a little bit of practice I could do something like this. Another black magic puzzle solved. A very cool solution and it took me less than an hour. Well, that's a different video. But I think with what I just explained you could kind of guess why. And odds are you'll be right because there's so many different reasons. Black magic is just the worst enjoyable experience I've ever had. Special thanks to Spadiliuk for, or however you say his name, for making this testing place with all the old keystroke classes. It's been fun and I might even do another video like this one. But don't get your hopes up, I know you guys love my black magic video so much. I also want to thank you guys for 1000 subscribers. But more than that, I want to thank you guys for just all the comments because I read them all and uh, they make my day every time. You know, whether I'm at work or at school, you know, just reading one of them can, it can make that bad day just a little bit better. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.